Hi fam, it's Dylan's mum, Deborah. This is Dylan Friend. He gives you a back rub and says, you know, you're going well, Brian. Oh, it's special. Get comfortable being uncomfortable. Just keep showing up and find a way. Cam was so nervous he couldn't swallow water. Handed him a sheet of paper with six names and said, Sheet, we've got to cut these six blokes. Wow, shut up. I've just been barbed by a stingray, mate. I'm just yelling, oh, you saved my life, you saved my life, you saved my life. Thank you, thank you. I spent the last, I think it was a couple of weeks in jail. The deepest, darkest moments often bring about our biggest highs. Hey, hey, boys, welcome to the podcast. <laughs> Lee and Skins. Is yeah. it Skins? Just Skin. It, it's, yeah. it, Just why do I, it rattles me so much, you know, before this pod. <laughs> but like, I was like going, I don't even know Skins' name. Like, you know, you just like, I don't know his actual name and I had to look it up. Yeah. It's well, Mitch. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. That's great. Can't like, confirm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got those mates who like, I actually didn't think about this, but I have no idea what their name is. No, nah, that's sort of what we went for, I think. We like the fact that. Well, that's what I went for. Okay. Yeah. I, like, I reckon that's how you measure a good nickname. Is if like... If, you don't even know their yeah, name. people don't know their name. When did it... Like, what is it for? It started, I reckon, when I was eight. I had oh, I had like a stupid mullet at school and went to a private school and they, they told me to cut it off. So I rebelled the other way and just went clean shaven. Oh, you went full skin? Yeah. <laughs> and, that makes yeah, sense. So, so it's not really like a that... No, it was like, like, it's like not that good of a nickname. No, really. it's <laughs> yeah. I don't know shit. why it's the one that stuck. But it's it, sort of, we sort of pride ourselves on more creative nicknames yeah. now. Yeah. And like his actual nickname is just the most basic like why they call you skin and everyone always asks us they think there's way more to the story I'm like oh you used to have short hair yeah, yeah. <laughs> nicknames of man nicknames like you know what it's like you boys are a cricket uh, folk and a little bit of footy in the Div 2 of, of Brisbane sort of quaffle as they call it the quaffle still yeah, skin actually won the most improved award this year. <laughs> did you really <laughs> which is a great oh, mate. what makes <laughs> that more impressive actually you tell that story yeah okay so I've, I've only played a handful of footy in my time I played you're an athletic started... young man though aren't you, like, <laughs> no, you, are, you I like to think you so, are vegan yeah. but you are <laughs> athletic <laughs> <laughs> my athleticism's gone downhill since then but that's right <laughs> but no so I played, had a little dabble at footy a couple of years ago I think we played maybe two or three years on the trot obviously started in the Div 2 resis in Queensland so about as bad as you can get um, got most improved in my first year so I like, ended up going okay for that standard second year played like went a little bit better played a handful of games in, in the ones uh, then had a couple of years off, came back this year, and again got most improved in the resis. <laughs> How do you get double most improved? I do not know. So I've obviously <laughs> gotten a lot shitter in those couple of years off. <laughs> the only player I know that's come from playing senior also, footy. Also, it makes even less sense because my first touch of the season, I kicked a goal, and then I didn't get another touch for about nine weeks. So <laughs> that is, I literally, my career went like, further downhill. That is so rare. Like, the fact that as well, that the fact, like, most improved can mean two things, all right? It means that, like, you were good, but you went to a next level, or yeah. you were just so shit at the start, they were like, yeah. we've got to get rid of this and, and then you actually I'm, became somewhat decent. Yeah, I think I'm always that one. That's yeah. how <laughs> <laughs> it's, a bit of a, it's a bit of an embarrassing award, really, isn't it? Like, it's yeah. great, but it's a bit of a... Yeah, it's a, yeah I wasn't stuck. It's you, a to win it twice. Yeah. <laughs> we've got, like, in our... In our but mum's dining room we've still got like a trophy cabinet like that's yeah. got all oh, obviously my trophies and then skin's got a couple yeah. um but like <laughs> we, you actually were you were like a perennial winner of most improved oh, for yeah. some reason yeah. you I've know got, why because yeah. you've got a great attitude yeah. like you've got like yeah then yeah. you just rock up and you give you your best up. shot you yeah. try yeah. hard yeah, yeah you try that's hard do you know Good. what the um we were talking about this a while ago i can't remember who i was talking about it with it wasn't even on the pod but we we're saying I reckon the worst, you know how people, it really annoys me when people get like upset being called like champ or something like that. Like I'm like, I reckon it says more about you that you hate being called champ. You than said this on our podcast. Yeah. 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 I've got a heap of material. I've got a heap of material. I reckon it says more about But this there. thing I didn't say on the podcast is I think the worst thing you can be referred to as a bloke is like, you know when you're talking about someone and they go, oh, He's harmless. Oh, harmless. Yeah, okay. harmless is like, wow. What does that mean? Like, yeah, yeah well, I don't know. That, yeah, that like, means you're it, not doing much. It means you're not doing. Much. It means you just you're you just harmless. If you're never challenging the line. It's like I'd rather you say he's a flog because yeah. at least you're like well, giving it, it a crack. Where it's like, oh, he's harmless, mate. You, yeah, he's he's harmless. It's like, oh, it God. sort of implies you're not a great unit though. Doesn't yeah, it? no, it's implied. But you're just like. You'd, you'd like I wouldn't hang out with them, but if you do get stuck hanging out with them, they're okay. They're okay. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're terrible. Yeah. yeah, 
No, nah, you're right. I'm not big on... If people describe me as that, I'd like them to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't call me harmless, please. Is that, is that the last thing? I'd like you to call me like a killer and then, then harmless. What about um, means well? Mm. He means well. That's yeah, potentially that's- worse. Yeah, he means well. Yeah, he's not doing it because yeah, the, the great podcast, end up, you end up great harmful. podcast, means well. By the yeah, way, yeah, yeah, yeah. shout out to Lou. correct, great point, Yarch. But yeah. I couldn't. Sorry. Yarch, oh, I remember fuck. that story. That was. <laughs> have you done that intention? No, no, I actually didn't. <laughs> I no, remember I did. seeing that clip on Hello Sport. <laughs> I, <laughs> How you've been referring to Lou and Yarch, a soft J. Yeah. <laughs> no, it was. I thought through his heritage, there might have been some European bloodlines through there, and I thought I've got a mate named Christian Jax, Jax, Yarch. And his name's like Yaksh. And right, we had a okay. weights coach at the club who'd always call him Yaksy, but his name was Christian Jacks. Right. Shit story. But, no, but it's, yeah, okay. it's, that's where that came from. It does from. give some context. Yeah, Back to really. what we were talking about before. <laughs> um, before we talked about your most improved award, which was, you know, congratulations again Thank on you. both Thank of them. Yeah. Was oh, both. <laughs> footy clubs and cricket clubs, the, the nicknames situation is, oh, again, yeah. like, you come up with some incredible ones um, throughout. And I've always found, like, the guys that really fight the nicknames, it sticks more. Yep. So it's like advice to people out there. If you ever do have a nickname that you don't like, you just got to embrace it. Yeah. Like my mates, um, and, and please don't, I hope you don't agree with this one, but a few of my mates call me Worm. Mm-hmm. And it's not to do with, I don't think it's to do with anything that you think it is. I think it's like they think I look like a worm. Wow. <laughs> See, I don't know how someone looks like a worm. That's Yeah, but I've sold a few people after that and they're like, I can see that. Yeah. Right. Oh, you can see it. Yeah, that they can see me. I, if I <laughs> Do you like that nickname, Darcy? I don't know. Now, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just Darcy, get around. Darcy likes like that one. Yeah. Now that I'm staring at you, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous to put it's this out It's very wormy. I don't, no, I'm going to say more like a sloth, if I'm oh, honest. I'm, yeah. I get that one See a lot. Yeah, the Sid <laughs> <sin, laughs> sloth. I get that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Like the Ice Age reference is like, if someone says that, I'm like, yeah. Mate, I've had that like on par, if not more of late with the Frodo one because you know Frodo from Lord of the Rings when I had longer hair the Frodo one was like that was that was prevalent in my life but yeah Sid the Sloth that that one does hurt a little bit so thanks for bringing that back into my life I think that's cool to have that many doppelgangers though there's people always on the lookout not when they're Sid the Sloth and uh Frodo Baggins and, called, a, and a worm. I, people used to call me Sid. That was a nickname I had for a little while yeah. just because mm-hmm. I was so slow. So, uh, yeah. you know, not much better. Either. Have you got a nickname? But no, nickname Lethal. Lethal, lethal or Dreno. Is that like um, the lack of lethalness? <laughs> <or anything? laughs> yeah. I think it had more to do with the fact my name was Lee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 But um, I, people on TikTok reckon that the person I look like is Michael Fassbender, who's like Magneto in X-Men. Can't um, say I'm familiar. Okay. I'm not good with actors. Well. No. I had um, James Maloney for a while as well. Maybe like that's a yeah. like less attractive version of yeah. him, I reckon. It could be, <laughs> that's okay, though. could be there. Because you're a less, less attractive successful. version and, of Sid the Star. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that one hurts. <laughs> that's got to cut to that. Hurt. We're going to cut that out. <laughs> um, all right, boys, let's go back to it and set the scene of, of I'm sure a lot of people have heard of We Got the Chocolates, but had we met, how did, like, that was, a, it was a while ago now. Mm. Um, Caught up. I don't think oh, actually we right. did catch up. We had a chat. I thought you were asking how we. Yeah, met. I, 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 yeah. well, your yeah. brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> how was how was that? <laughs> I remember that moment well. We picked him out of the shop. It was yeah. yeah. So you're older. I'm older. How yeah. many years? Seven. <laughs> I know people find yeah. it hard to believe. Yeah. Yeah. And I always find that insulting because obviously I look ancient. There, that's yeah, seven that's years older. That's it. It's got the full beard though. Because you guys like you have a great relationship. Seemingly, you know, I don't know what it's like <laughs> at behind closed doors, but you seem like a great relationship, very close. Seven years, that's quite a gap. I think we always hung out together, though. It sounds yeah. weird, but like, hey, I basically, I needed, you sort of referenced that cricket background, I needed, not needed friends. That's yeah. what you're <laughs> It's like, I didn't want to say it, and like, seven years old hanging out with a younger brother is like, it's not. No, no. Struggling. It was yeah. more than I needed for my for my budding cricket career yeah. that was obviously flourishing at that point. I just needed someone to be able to bowl to me okay. in the backyard. So, yeah. I had to, like, I remember, I think dad was just pretty over, yeah. yeah, like, every backyard cricket game and never getting to bat and always having to be the one bowling. So, he sort of was suggesting, like, give your brother a chance, like, teach him how to bowl because mm. uh, it'll be useful. So, I think from that, from that, probably we started hanging out a lot nice. once I worked out that once we got through those initial like couple of years of him bowling horrendous and he yeah. started to bowl them straight, 
then it was like this is quite a useful companion and from that point he just like yeah i think it was my <laughs> our mates so we, like we i yeah. remember playing in like a men's a grade touch footy team in queensland and mitch was 12 and he played and we were yeah whatever we were like 19 which was yeah. 12 and he was playing with us yeah I ended up just hanging around like a bad smell at the end, yeah. just because yeah. yeah. I had a crack at sport basically so. That's, but I'm, yeah. I'm happier that the, at least you were hanging out with his mates not you hanging out with his that would, mates yeah, well, that would have right. been a little bit weirder <laughs> that's true has yeah. this ever yeah. um, you know and I'm, you, you call me Sid the Sloth and I'm going to have to come back you see but like yeah. younger brother a mm. <laughs> little bit bigger yeah is that ever sort of is that frustrating? Do you ever champ jealous. him a little bit? or Do I champ him? Yeah. <laughs> no, well, I, I'm sorry to say, I find the champ thing, I'm one of those blokes. Oh, you're one I, of those yeah, blokes, are you? I, I, get, I always find it a bit uncomfortable okay. with it, so I, I don't dish it out too often. Yeah. So, no, I'm, yeah, I, I think I'm nice in that regard. Yeah, you're too <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah, too nice. Yeah, yeah, I don't no, know. I'm not sure what happened there. I, yeah. I, I assume mum was smoking while you're in the room or something <laughs> I don't know <laughs> you've missed out mum's probably listening and we don't actually think that's true um, and then we got the chocolates how'd that start like I remember yeah as we were saying before we spoke yeah. maybe nearly a year or two ago now and you guys uh, from Brisbane have done an incredible job like it's been so cool seeing what you've both been able to do and, and start like you're a former high school teacher yeah high school teacher what yeah. were you doing uh, I was working in IT just before. Yeah. IT just before, before, before and before yeah, it was before quarter you quarter. guys were like full time at what you're doing. And for anyone out there who's on TikTok or Instagram, like you 100 percent would have seen um, the boys doing their thing, and, and obviously massive fans of them. But like, how did it? Wh- what happened? How did it all start? And where did it kick off? I think it started from I was doing. I just seemed to be asked to MC every wedding that I went to. Mm. I think I've been to eight weddings now and MC'd seven of them. Um, so like at that stage it was very like I'd, I'd MC a wedding for, for my mates mm. not for just random people it yeah, wasn't, wasn't a job or anything <laughs> um, and, but, but people used to always say that they'd just be like oh you got you got to do this as a career and I was like I don't really I think the reason I can MC well is because I know funny stories about the people I'm MCing for yeah. like I don't know that going up and MCing random people's weddings is quite my cup of tea so yeah. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> that would have been harder uh, and so basically like I think you you were definitely podcasting at that point like Dan and Kemp bloke in a bar the great cricketer boys would but podcasting was pretty new I think at that point um, and so it became sort of I got sick of people saying do something like this and then probably like similar elements to your story of uh, I thought like from an individual perspective if I could be had play a part in building something like a podcast or whatever and prove that hey I, I, I put this together mm. and hopefully slingshot into radio or, or something like that and that was kind of I guess my mission at the start and then skin from your perspective you probably just more came along for a ride really didn't you yeah pretty much I mean, <laughs> <laughs> same, same as yeah, always, same as yeah. always. Yeah. Yeah. no well yeah but i've sort of always been very painfully introverted so podcasting and public speaking were not up my alley at all but um yeah i don't from so from my perspective how it came about was more just like we we had a weekend where we just had a had a footy trip down to melbourne and watched a bunch of games with our housemate at the time Baze. And we just thought we were hilarious and like, yeah, essentially just came up with the great idea of going home and recording some of it. Um, and yeah, obviously it sucked. So, <laughs> so we- but how funny like is those um, those moments? Because anyone, any sort of you know white male out there that's gone on a footy trip with their mates, the, the option of like starting a podcast comes up every time oh, right? yeah. about, about 3 a.m. in yeah. the kitchen and you, everyone thinks they've got the funniest thing ever to say but yeah, exactly. to actually follow through and then that's, yeah, well, yeah, that's exactly like, do you right. pinch yourself at like that moment of actually going like fuck what was it like the first time you sat down there because I've been there too and you put the yeah. mic to me and you're like oh, what would it be what are you fucking what are we what are talking, talking about? about yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm too scared to go back and listen to that first. Yeah. Yeah, we get messages about it every now and then, but yeah. 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 People have gone back to listen from like episode one and it was a MacBook Pro sitting just like that on the table in between three of us like it is now. So like I think I was sitting in front so my voice was the loudest and then skin you could barely hear because he was like yeah. right on the side <laughs> of the microphone. It was yeah, it's a tough listen. Is that still is that uploaded? No, it's still there. Yeah, yeah. 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 We don't listen to it ourselves, but there's a lot of people that go back and be like, you know, they enjoy seeing where you started to to what it oh, is now. Mate, I think I'm, that's cool. I've already told a story to you guys that I told on the podcast that I was on. I think I've got to stop doing this because I'm like running out of shit to talk about. <laughs> but one thing I do love about this whole 
uh, game that we spoke about is like if you're not embarrassed by where you started you started too late I say it a lot Darcy's got a black book of my notes that he hates he doesn't even listen to the shows anymore he's got his headphones on at the moment because he's so <laughs> sick of me just repeating the same shit <laughs> it's very true but out of that me. <laughs> story is so true like you have to look back and go that was so fucking bad um, but look at where you are now like how did when did it things start sort of taking off because like I know the vi- short form videos was huge mm. and you guys have been doing that better than anyone um through TikTok and shorts and then YouTube of late as well. Like, when did things, like, actually start going? And also, what did the show start out? Because it started out as more of a cricket show, right? Yeah. And then the mm. joke stuff came later? I guess uh, TikTok was sort of the thing that broke out for us again. Mm. Like, we, I, I think we were fairly new to podcasting. Like, there was a few yep. really, really good ones, obviously, that had, that had started already. But I, I would say, like, I think podcasting now is obviously fairly common as in there would be millions and millions of podcasts out yeah. there I think at that point there were probably only <laughs> hundreds of thousands or something um, but TikTok we were also I feel like quite new to because I remember a few like the younger kids at cricket just watching like people dancing and stuff on TikTok mm. and me being like what is what is this mm. what's this new form of social media uh, and yeah I guess we I downloaded it and I th- I'm pretty sure again like you speak about being embarrassed of where I reckon the first TikTok that we did on the We Got The Chocolates account you weren't even in it was me like doing a dance oh no okay. yeah. <laughs> so you don't probably get back again one. I shan't be watching that <laughs> no, <laughs> you can get back and find that I don't uh, even want to watch that that's, what, that's, <laughs> that's what TikTok was at that point yeah. and then actually I started seeing Jarch Yarch was doing like little skits and stuff um, and then we I guess that was where the idea for uh doing that sort of don't laugh challenge which which genuinely was again like one of our certainly one of our hobbies i guess like one of the things that i did when i emceed was just yeah. make stupid puns and dad jokes and always sort of i guess that's always been our style of humor <laughs> or not really mitch's style of humor he actually hates it mm. yeah which i think is, is sort of also part of part of the content that is, we create actually, like that like, yeah, what that i love dynamic. about you guys is your dynamic it's yeah. like you, as you said then you're the like punny older brother yeah. you're sort of like a dry as you said I, you know what I'm actually really interested in what you said before about someone that didn't think they'd be doing this mm. like did you when you asked to come on the pod were you like fuck yeah let's do it or were you like no way uh, like with that introvertedness were you still keen oh, to put pr- yourself out there or no, was it hard uh, yeah it was definitely hard I wouldn't yeah. say I was keen to put myself out there yeah um, yeah. in on I don't think it was a massive fuck yeah at all but like yeah. I think like, I knew Lee was really keen to do it. He essentially just needed someone to sort of sit there and listen to him and, and play some role in it. And I think, yeah, like we just we just stuck at it for a while and it sort of slowly got more and more comfortable. Mm. Um, How's that on a serious note though? Like people listening to this now that like you play such an important role in the show, like it really, you need both yeah. of you to be in it. For someone out there who is introverted, like um, in the sense of maybe struggling and they want to do something like that, what would you, what would you say to people like that that want to get into something that's like this where traditionally it is people more probably like us that just want to keep talking and, and doing it there's so many different roles and avenues you can take yeah great question I wouldn't say I've got phenomenal like really motivating advice for no, anyone it doesn't to like, have to be, to yeah. like that you have to absolutely love it but I think probably the way I thought about it is more just that like the thing that makes you hesitant to put something out there like that is that you're nervous about how other people will receive it or what, what people will think of you and, and realising that probably no one's going to think about you at all they've all <laughs> they've all got their own shit going on in life you know like you can put a podcast out there and it just won't make any difference to your life or, or the, the people around you really can i say another quote it's like everyone's a main character of their own story we say this a lot and it's like how much you get in your own head yeah, around exactly, you yeah. all think you're like uh gladiator in the movie yeah. um i can't think of his name russell crowe you yeah. think you're yeah. like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone thinks they're like, you know, Russell Crowe and Gladiator. It's like, mate, you're not him. Like, (laughs) you are not him. Just relax. Like, it's all good. No one cares. Yeah, um, sure. everyone's it's like when you have like a small pimple on your face and you think everyone notices like, no one can see that. Yeah, like, no. Only you can. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In saying that though, I did have a cold sore once that was like pretty fucked up. Was, <laughs> that, that I was the main character in everyone else's story at that stage. I it was <laughs> bad. Yeah. I was I was the main character in everyone's story that came past me, which okay. which sort yeah. of did I remember suck. I'd like a pimple once and a bloke came past me. Probably the greatest sledge I've ever heard was like it's like you've got a head growing on your pimple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never used I've never used that on anyone else. Yeah. It felt quite mean, and I remember how it made me feel. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It was like three days of staying in my room. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it rough. is amazing what some words can do. Yeah. Isn't it? Like, <laughs> words that they do say sticks and stones 
may break your bones, but words definitely hurt me on that words, occasion. Uh, <laughs> words of boulders. <laughs> um, no, it's awesome. So, yeah, picked up with TikTok, started yeah. the pod. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah. then you're right what you were saying sorry about <laughs> yeah, I, I think probably at the start we just had no idea what we were going to talk about really as you said like yeah. quite genuinely we yeah we wanted to start a podcast that yeah. was sort of it we're like oh, i've got to practice getting more comfortable at, at how you sort of speak into a mic and put a show together and uh and so we probably ended up we've always played cricket we loved cricket we'd, we that was sort of like our th- thing that we felt like we knew yeah. quite well uh and I, I think at the start we were just happy to try <clears throat> lots of pieces of and probably still to this day like we try there's times where we'll try a new segment on the podcast or on social media and be like well that sucked but like we we're <laughs> similar on on mitch's point of like no one really cares it's like we people will see a video and scroll past it yeah. and you'd be like oh well that wasn't a winner and and try the next one sort of thing and and we were very happy to do that in the early days of the podcast for sure but and probably the the dad joke the don't laugh challenge probably mm help to inform i guess the direction that we wanted to go more where we felt like our, our role around niche could be to yeah for people to stumble across us we, we always say that like a ride by accident stay for a laugh and, yes i saw that on um, the website thank you it's quite oh, a good nice. motto yeah okay nice. it's, it's a good, good website good. actually good. you actually adam you built a website once i did uh <laughs> well i didn't someone else did um and it didn't work but i'm actually getting a new one made so watch this space um speaking of the don't laugh challenge can we do that I, I, oh, I never ask people to come prepared for anything, but I said, come with a couple yeah, jokes. Okay. So I don't, I don't Are you reckon I'll laugh laughing? at anything. I feel like you'd be hard to break for some reason. I don't know why, because... I'm so funny that it's hard for other people to like... Yeah, but you're like yeah, unintentionally that's funny. That's no, like, no, I'm very... Like when ten- you said intentionally, <laughs> I'm very funny. People think that they're gladiator in gladiator. <laughs> no, like, trust me, I'm How very funny. you got that confidence? Who, what feedback have you got in your <laughs> oh, life? Oh, I see the sloth, like, <laughs> you know, Frodo. No, it's, I'm, it's, I'm funny, yeah. Yeah, no, it's... Uh, as we are talking about before, off air, mm. the confidence or the arrogance that I have is so false that it's actually like the opposite like i was saying i don't actually listen <laughs> yeah, to, to yeah. i don't listen to i've never listened back to any of my own podcasts i don't watch yeah, any true. clips because i'm so just like i fucking hate you so much <laughs> like stop talking like it, I, I still i get that even yeah. when i was playing footy mm. i didn't watch any of my clips even if they were the good ones i didn't watch them because i was just like oh that's just so cringe like i can't see myself do stuff so right. okay. you were saying that exactly. i am the funniest though yeah before yeah. we turn the cameras on that's what you were saying and then once we turn the cameras on i'm the funniest person ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. It's, good. It's, it's an act oh, yeah, i'm happy to hear okay. you some uh i'll sort of try and st- Few off the top of the head. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's, it's Wait, a... have you prepared some? Have you got? Yeah. Oh, oh, are you ready to go right. too? You've got oh. jokes, of course, man. Always got jokes. And you're just going. To... <laughs> don't look at Darcy. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody jokes. No, All good. right. All right. Let's start the Don't Laugh Challenge. This is famous right. on the We Got the Chocolates podcast. I'm so going to give it a go today. The idea okay. is that you tell a joke and you're not meant to break into small or laughing. Yeah. I won't say. So. Okay. It's pretty simple, really. <laughs> yeah. Summarise it like that. Darcy's yeah. struggling to keep up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So explanations why, in the title, really, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Why did the prawn leave the dance floor? Why pulled a muscle? Got Darcy early, one from one. That was so that wasn't that was that's so, not a bad that joke. was so bad. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't wait for your first. <laughs> Whatever you've got in front of you, we've heard four hundred times. <laughs> yeah, I made these ones up. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Uh, I went to Macca's the other day and ordered two large fries. Yeah, but the bastards gave me hundreds of tiny ones. That was better. Okay. okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> you're happy with that one? I like that one. All right, I've got one. I've got one. Oh, you're going. Yeah, I've got so, one. Okay, hit me. What's an egg's uh, favourite vacation spot? I actually don't I know. I don't know. Yeah. I haven't heard this. New York City. <laughs> <laughs> You're terrible. <laughs> yeah, I, I do suck. You New York. Did you get a page? Yeah, no, we got it. Yeah, we got it. Do you get a page 14? Oh, Google the app. That's why you're the funniest. You explained the joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He just makes sure he got That was a good one. I didn't like that one. That is good. You want to just go around two? Yeah, go around two. All right, this one's a little bit more like you got to think about it a bit more. Yeah. Um, I spotted an albino Dalmatian the other day. It's the least I could do for it. You spotted a... <laughs> albino. Albino, so it's a white dog. Yeah. It's the least I could do for him. Yeah. Mm. It's an albino Dalmatian. 
You know how Dalmatians are meant to have spots. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. They are funnier when you get yeah, them. Yeah, when you get yeah. them. I can imagine, <laughs> yeah. I can imagine that's like funny. I've, <laughs> yeah. I've gone slightly too. Yeah, that was, that was I've gone yeah. upper tier there. I really like this one. I only yeah. found this today, actually. Uh, I just saw a, a lion and a witch struggling to carry a really heavy wardrobe into my neighbor's house. And I asked them what they were up to, and they said, none of your business. Good. That's, that's a good one. That's nice. I actually that's do like that one. That's actually quite funny. reference to pop culture yeah, too. Yeah, and it's a movie. And it's a movie. The Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. Maybe a book first. Yep. Yeah, and maybe. a book. Yeah. Oh, I've got one more. Okay. I ordered a uh, chicken and egg from Amazon. I'll let you know. Nice. I don't actually get that joke. I just read it. That was like, what, what came does that first, the chicken or the egg? So you're explaining my yeah, yeah, jokes yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> This is some good ones. Eddie. Also, why are all your jokes egg themed? I don't know. It might be like the best egg jokes here or something. Like that. I'm not sure. Why. This is the first thing that popped up in what? Google. Yeah. For it. Yeah. Uh, have you got any more? One more each. Uh, I, 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 I need right, an actual right. belly laugh. Okay. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I've got that for you. All right. What starts with W and ends with T? <laughs> <laughs> Almost got you that. Nice. What? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Very good. Nice. Yeah. Happy okay. with that? I like that one. No, that was good. You can use that. Thanks. Okay. How how PG do we have to be? Nah, the, just okay. go. Because if you haven't seen this one, it's it's generally good for a belly laugh. Yeah. But, um, I went to the doctors the other day and he told me I had to stop masturbating. I asked him why and he said, because I'm trying to examine you. Yeah, that's <laughs> a great one. <laughs> that's fantastic. <laughs> that is a good uh, one. We should be on with it. I really <laughs> like that one. That's really funny. Because yeah, it's no, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was just a true story. That's just a true story. That's <laughs> just a true story. That's very funny. <laughs> okay. I don't think you can top that. Thanks. That's, yeah. that's great. Even with another egg one. No. <laughs> no, mine were, mine were bad. Uh, apologies about that. Um. One other thing that's incredible that you guys... I don't even know how the hell this came up, but throughout the pod or throughout a series or something, you were doing challenges or dares or something. <laughs> like, yeah. This is genuinely like not well. Stunning. I don't even really want to expose my incredible, beautiful, respectful community to the profanity and the <laughs> disgustingness of what you guys are doing over there at We Got The Chocolates. But you did something pretty crazy, man. And I couldn't believe this when you told me about this on your episode that i was on i i yeah i'm one of those guys and i don't even know if i want to talk about this but like i can get stuck in an algorithm watching on like instagram really messed up things you know like oh. when, when you get in those uh, and there's like yeah. a guy like on a scooter and then a truck just backs out and just like oh like yeah. you know oh, and you're yeah. just like wow yeah. where did that come from like yeah. what what algorithm am i in twitter's but, real bad for that twitter's, twitter's really bad for that yeah. and then you just see you like on one video on there the most like, crazy yeah. shit and i'm like that doesn't really but I, was, you know, I don't enjoy watching it, but it doesn't phase me as much. But your story rattled me. It kept me up for right, sort of okay. a bit. That's a massive preface because I did not run over anyone on a No, 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 yeah. no, you didn't do that. But, <laughs> no. but yeah, no, and I, I appreciate the apology to the audience in advance. But yeah, essentially, well, we weren't really planning on doing anything. It was completely off the cuff. We didn't have a challenge series or bets or anything going on. We just recorded our normal weekly podcast. Yeah. Um, I think it was a nicknames thing again. It yeah. started from there was a guy, lethal. There was a guy named <laughs> there was what well, someone wrote in saying uh, I had a mate named Willie Pearson, so we called him Prince Albert. And the way that like we try and work with our podcast is like it's kind of segment based a little bit. So very good. Yeah. So we'll always try and well, thank you. <laughs> no, no. Was, I, I was impressed though because yeah. it was like it is very segment. I like that. It's yeah. A lot of pre production. Yeah. So we'll we'll try and go like segment based. So like if we're gonna if we know there's gonna be like that's gonna be an ad spot or whatever, then we try and make sure that we finish on a laugh. Um, and like as everyone's laughing I'll just sort of fade down and yeah. bang Darcy you know what I'm talking about yeah. that sort of stuff reduce the tings yeah exactly <laughs> um, and then and basically that just fell massively flat I read it and thought yeah. it was the funniest nickname I ever. didn't get it because I had no idea what a Prince Albert was yeah. well, I didn't want to bring it up but why is Willie Mason what, no, Willie, Willie Pearson, Pearson Prince Albert what is that well because a Prince Albert Pearson piercing is, a is willy piercing. getting your willy yeah. pierced so yes this is yeah. okay right. this is my story so, that I'm bringing up that I'm not yeah. confused about <laughs> yes this is so, so, okay I just got it again you got it again, I got it again. you know where we are so, I know where we are yeah, now yeah. Right, yeah. So, so I've read this card I think this is but hilarious but did you know what that yeah, was I, well, I knew what a Prince Albert was yeah, see yeah. I don't know what that I didn't know what that was yeah, yeah and so when you guys we. kept talking about it I was like I don't get yeah, the reference. Because well, I like, think I'm when we sure. said, 
Mitch got a Prince Albert piercing and you were like, oh, okay, cool. So what'd you get pierced? Yeah, I'm like, what, what is <laughs> that? Like, no, Prince Albert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, no, so I don't know. I don't know why I knew. I've obviously never had one and I don't think so I've even seen them on Twitter. Um, I just- <laughs> You know, you're going to explain what that, that is and what you got pierced? Because yeah, I still well, think yeah. there could be the audience. Well, yeah, oh, okay, okay, you- so, so yeah, so I've done that. Yeah, gone, story Willie, Pier- that. Willie Pierce and Prince Albert. I thought it was hilarious in my head. It made me laugh so much. And the other boys just gave me donuts, like skin and goatee, just nothing. They didn't go with me at all. And I think they were both sort of in your boat going like, okay, yeah, I think I should get it, but I don't really know what that is. And then uh, we sort of explained to Mitch, we were like, yeah, uh, that's when you get your willy pierced. And he was like, right, no, you're, got it. You're- well, through, I mean, it is a part of your willy, yeah. I would say. Yes. I'm not sure how yours works, but... Medical term. <laughs> for, medical term. I'm trying to work out the what the eye. medical term for knob is. <laughs> that's what. It's a great Google search. I don't know that's what like egg jokes and no, medical yes, knob terms. Knob. <laughs> I'm not even doing this as a gag. Oh, what is your it? Your glands. Really? Oh. Your glands is also called the head of your tip of your penis. Okay. So, so you got your glands, glands pierced. pierced. Oh, right. Good to know. Yeah, he had his glands pierced, Darcy. Did I yeah. tell you about this? His actual, his actual glands, glands. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We, yeah, yeah. We keep jumping around. Oh, we sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. The reason for oh, I didn't. It wasn't like there was a joke on our podcast, and then I was like, <laughs> yeah. I'm oh, getting I'm that. Get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah. I was meant to be responsible for that. So, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I said that's where you get your glands pierced. I don't think I used that term. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, uh, and then I was like, just literally in the moment, it was like because I was thinking we need another, we need something to end this segment with. I was like, Skin, what are the odds of you getting your no no pierced? And uh, and he said for some reason, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> one in fifty, <laughs> which were quite generous odds for that type of I wouldn't say operation, yeah. but <laughs> I thought fifty was plenty. It's procedure, like it's procedure. You shouldn't lose with fifty, and I didn't want to make it like a million and make it completely impossible. I was like, I need to You're be. You're a performer. It needs to yeah. at least like pretend like there's some risk involved to make it somewhat exciting for the audience. Uh, also, the odds game doesn't really work with massive numbers because you can't right. be like three, two, one, three hundred eighty-three thousand four hundred. Yeah. yeah, exactly. It's like you never. Yeah. It just doesn't. Yeah. It's not as. Fun. So I wanted something a little succinct. So I've said fifty, and we both said twenty-seven. Yeah, three, two, one, twenty-seven. And like as we said it, I was just like, I think I was more panicking, going like, you can't do it. Like we have to delete this. It's yeah. Like you can, you literally. <laughs> no, you I would never, that. no chance. I'm getting that done. I'd love the podcast to be successful, but I'm not sacrificing my glands. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, in my head, like if you look at my face, I'm like, no, like that. And everyone is just kind of like, in this moment, we've just gone like, what has just happened? I think we actually said that. Like what yeah, you yeah. said, like what's just happened? Yeah, <laughs> what, just on that, with the number 27, because you know how, was it like a special number to you or like did you wear the 20s? Like I'm just intrigued on in how, was it just pure no, not at all. Yeah, yeah. It just popped into my head and like, because someone's counting down like three, two, one. So it's popped into my head like straight away on three and I had like a couple of seconds to think, oh, that doesn't feel right. Like it's right in, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's right in the middle. Yeah. It's got a seven, like I'm in strife here. So, but I just couldn't pick another number in yeah. time. And so I've spat out 27 and yeah. No, not ideal. But then since then, it's like started popping up everywhere in my life. I'm, He's getting married on the 27th. I'm, yeah, my birth, and then well, my birthday's on the 27th as well. I'm getting married on the 27th. I probably got out for 27 at cricket on the weekend. Mm. Just, yeah, it's just stalking me. So, okay, <laughs> now, any like, oh, I don't think I could get my um, glance pierced. Well, but from, so, that, yeah, from, from that, that point, what we happened? told him not to. We were like, well, yeah. it got to, we stopped recording because that's the end of the segment. We were like, right, well, we're deleting that. That would have been, that's elite content, but we can't. Like, if we post that, you're genuinely going to have to get your knob pierced. And straight away, you were just like, no, nah, yeah, I have to. Yeah, like well, he, he took the odds game that seriously. <laughs> Man, <laughs> what is wrong with you? In hindsight, I never thought of not... Of, Doing it. Of, no, I never thought of deleting it from the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I just Man. thought, once this goes out, everyone's going to know I said I'll do it, and like then I can't not do it. But yeah, I don't know. It never occurred to me that you know, I could just not put it out. <laughs> So instead, what he did put yeah. out was his glands. His glands. <laughs> glands yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Went okay. down to your local piercing yeah. shop, flopped the glands out. Yeah, yeah. but there was and like ten weeks in between. I mean, how the story long did you gets, have to keep it in for? I think it was like eight weeks. She told me to keep it in to like just make sure it didn't get infected or anything like that. So yeah, it continued being pretty uncomfortable for eight weeks. Did you do anything like? 
activity wise <laughs> while you had that in like as in you know play cricket oh general or, activities yeah, yeah well no it was in the middle of the any footy activity. it was in the middle of the footy season um, so I think I don't know what date we got it pierced but I definitely missed that game of footy and then came, that could have cost you the most in Brew yeah, yeah right. that's <laughs> exactly right <laughs> <laughs> bloody hell imagine if I racked up a few times but anyways yeah so I've missed one game and then came back the next week to play but like it just, yeah, it, it, I was too nervous. It felt, it didn't feel right. I wasn't willing to like dive for the ball. I barely went near the ball. I don't, I don't know if I would have touched the footy in that game. So, and he had like all this gauze padding like thrown into his jocks before the footy game. Yeah. Just hoping that that was going to do yeah, something. I like strapped, <laughs> I literally strapped the glands up. <laughs> it was not good. And then yeah, so I continued doing that for seven or eight weeks. Uh, and then so finally you, got you did do the medical eight weeks for the procedure. You yeah, I, through. Mate, yeah, I wasn't. Like, yeah, you don't want to get because we got emails from doctors saying. Like, don't do like, this. do not get your penis pierced. I've seen people who got infected, and I've had to amputate their penis. Yeah, and I was like, okay, well, I have to do it. I don't know why I didn't back out at that <laughs> no, point. But I was podcast, like, I, I was like well, I've decided I'm doing it, so like, I really need to do make sure it doesn't get infected. So I, yeah, I wasn't risking taking it out early. Mm. Well done. The poor old reserve strapper never came back after that. Yeah. Game, <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> fuck, guys! You have four hundred and seventy-eight thousand subscribers. Yes. So that plaque you had, that was 100K. Yeah. But then since then, it's gone up another 300 and like... Yeah. 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 It's had... It's been... Yeah. I mean, obviously, I guess like any platform, it obviously... I did not know that this little. was going this well. I apologize. That's fucking... It's quite right. Did you know that? Uh, fucking hell. Dustin so didn't even know we were coming today, in fairness. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, this is unbelievable. <laughs> like you, you were... This was 100K. How long ago was that? I think it was... Uh, I don't know. This year, it was, I think. It was dead. Yeah. yeah. yeah far out so it's literally just exploded on YouTube yeah well yeah that, that's what I'm saying I guess like any platform it sort of like goes through periods where it yeah. like really goes bananas like I don't know maybe the last couple of months have been a little bit slower <clears throat> like it feels like we've been around that sort of 450 for a while um, but yeah like we've had in, in there we've had a couple of months where you know if like a dad jokes video goes really well or something like that then it's mm. yeah does that far I guess. out man so, yeah. skin's been added in the marathon like uh, tricking her girlfriends into doing the half yes, marathon. Yeah, so that's what you were down for out. last time when we caught up. Yeah, yeah. you were yeah. down for a bit of content. Tell us about that. That was very, very funny. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're <laughs> really excited about this video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I came for people to see it. I, yeah, I've probably spent too too long editing it, but I, I think it'll be worth it eventually. But um, yeah, uh, but yeah <laughs> I did, just to give you, can I tell you a story? Yeah, give, give, give you some it. insight about how committed mitch is to editing so the other day <laughs> he's like well, you, you would have spent probably a day wouldn't you like doing like teaching yourself after effects like gun like just watch his youtube I would have spent videos, most like, of last week yeah like, do, working on this thing at after yeah. effects yeah. yeah so he's like this after effects thing where it's like a map of australia and the plane goes like that and the line sort of follows it and so he's covered to covered to <laughs> we got to the office the office mum's house on monday <laughs> and uh and and uh and he was like all right come and have a look at uh, what I've done and I'm like oh this could be sick like thinking I'm going to watch like, like a the 10 full minute like thing. 13 yeah. minute video like here we go and it was like press space bar it played for 4 seconds and that was it <laughs> like, and it's sick like okay. it's the coolest 4 seconds you'll ever see this plane goes up it's like you can Shut like up. the 360 Australia globe Australia globe Australia yeah. the map of Australia it's like and it goes from Brisbane to Melbourne the plane it lands Get this. it's unreal it's fine it's, so we, just, we had a chat prior to this podcast I've never used this thing before it took me a while to learn we got there at the end right? we had a chat prior to this podcast me. as well boys about how to productivity productivity <laughs> and also just talking about like you know, evolution of business. And I was like, you know, you got to do, you know, try and cut out the things that take you the least, the most time <laughs> yeah. and outsource them. Yeah. So I think like that sort of thing yeah. is oh, one of those things. Maps don't of Australia. Don't spend a week on a four second clip. Uh, yeah, don't spend a week maps on a four second Maps of Australia sort of thing we could probably outsource. Yeah. That's cool though. I remember, hey, I, that's like seriously unbelievable. Oh, we and didn't even we get to, to tell the, you what we did. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. but I'm just talking yeah. about the yeah. YouTube still, right. like until that. But yes, there, um, what happened? How, how did it come about? Yeah. Well, we thought we were hilarious. It, we were hilarious. Yeah, okay. it's not I don't think we were dual, We were basically dual levels of hilarity. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's <laughs> fucking... Funny. That's, that's bloody funny. Yeah. <laughs> but no, we... Uh, yeah, I think we got invited to come and run in the Melbourne Marathon. 
um, having done the Gold Coast Marathon a few months before. Um, that I guess people fell under the impression that we were like athletic or something. Um, so it's we a season marathon. <laughs> we, Sorry, I have to interrupt you because you've done a couple. Uh, you, you, did, you did a half marathon. No, no, no. no, no we have it, done a full one. Okay, well. so you actually have done yeah. a full one. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry, laughs> I was just I was waiting to see what you said then because no. you came in like we ran the marathon. I'm like, no. well, no, it says yeah. half marathon. No, 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 we ran middle. the Gold Coast. Yeah, we ran the full one down the coast, and then so people must have thought Which that mind like, you, we, we're capable of running the easiest marathon. marathon to run. Yeah, have you ever run, run it? it? No, I haven't, but I'm doing it next year. Okay, well, okay. I'll run it with you. Okay, We'll go. see who wins. Oh, no, we won't. You win. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so people have obviously fallen under the impression that like we can run marathons and invited us to the Melbourne Marathon. We definitely declined after how we pulled up after the Gold Coast, but said, no, we'll do the half. Um, and then, yeah, just trying to make, make some sort of funny content out of the trip, I guess. Uh, Lee came up with... Your idea. <laughs> yeah. The idea essentially was our our girl, well, Mitch's fiance, Eloise, and my the girl I'm getting to know for the past 23 months, uh, Rochelle. Uh, That's she, a very weird way to explain it. <laughs> like, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, we do, I don't like to put labels on things. Um, <laughs> no, that's an issue. I feel like that's not a good thing. Yeah, so Rochelle familiar. came to the studio. She was, I might, like, she's very, um, yeah, she's very beautiful, and yeah. you should call her your girlfriend I, reckon it's like, <laughs> I actually do I, I call think her, you should be proud I do of call the her fact that my you, girlfriend it's yeah. just more that we, I started saying that I think at the start like the girl I'm getting to know yeah. like after like one month of seeing her on the podcast and we've just never stopped saying okay, it good. so I've been saying the girl I'm getting to know yeah, but what for, I'm trying to say is she's way better than you it's sort of like what I'm trying <laughs> to say I sort of picked up what you're putting down yeah. and I appreciate you really <laughs> yeah, right. like I'm glad explain. that you broke that it's down it's like the for jokes <laughs> I like to explain <laughs> like, okay. why they're yes. funny so, uh, New York City New York so my <laughs> now wife uh, <laughs> Rochelle is um, she they're not massive on their running I wouldn't say no yeah um, and I just thought, but when we ran the marathon, they were there for us. They supported us. They were they were amazing, actually. Um, they went and had coffees and came when we were at about the sixteen kilometer mark. Like they were they were pillars of strength for us as we ran past twice. I think exactly uh, they saw us, and the rest of the time they were having coffees. And anyway, we were very thankful for having them there. And but they the sense of achievement that we had and that they were sort of like, we're so proud of you guys like for what you've done. They, we never thought that you'd get through that, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah, well, you should have seen us at 34 kilometers. We thought we were going to go into cardiac arrest. Sort of, that was like the conversation. And we just thought we could do them a massive favor by going like, look, they're never going to enter themselves into a half marathon. But the sense of achievement exactly. that they'll have if they complete one is like- It's unwavering. You, that's unwavering. <laughs> they'll thank us forever. Like we will be literally <laughs> their heroes. Uh, that was how I framed it in my head. Yeah. And so the plan was we we registered for them <laughs> and we yeah. told them that we were coming down to Melbourne to interview you, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> so you were the decoy. Well, we well, did. Really? We, yeah, we still had, oh, that's fantastic. So we still had you. We still, yeah, we lined up. Am I in the video? We did a great. You yes. are. Yeah, oh. yeah, you're in the video. Yeah. You did a. You did a. We did a great podcast with you. So that was wonderful. But the day before, we'd obviously flown down. Uh, told the girls, "Hey, we need some help. We've got deal like on the podcast. It'll be a massive thing for us. We've always loved him. Like you know those sort of things. All and true like, stories, oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all no, true we stories. And like, yeah, we love him too. Yes. Um, that sort of conversation. <laughs> and then, and then, uh, yeah, just Sunday morning, we woke up, and we'd like. I don't know how they didn't sort of catch on at that point because we were very like, hey, let's get up and go for a run, which I'm, certainly I can't speak for Skin, but that's very unlike me on a Sunday yeah, morning to I say, would never do that. let's get up at 6 a.m. and go for a quick walk. Especially that early. Yeah, that's, like, yeah, the, the, yeah. They start so early. Like, yeah, exactly. You're there yeah. at like five. Yeah. And so we're just walking closer and closer to the MCG and the girls are like, what are we, what, there's so many people here. We don't want to walk this way. We're going to be in the way of the people doing the marathon. And we're like, yeah, yeah no, that would be terrible. bad. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. And then we got to yeah, probably about, well, the, literally at the MCG. Yeah. And we're like, the reason we're here is, here's your registration. And pulled out their runner's bibs and, uh, and presented it to yeah. them. And I wouldn't say the reaction was immediately positive. No, they weren't stoked by any stretch. It's animation. so good. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> so good. We, we cut up this My little... wife would kill me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, that was they the, wanted to. Yeah. The LOE said to you, yeah. uh, like, first response was like, Mitchell, I can't run one kilometre. Yeah. <laughs> What Rochelle said to you, I can only run for 20 minutes. So we're like, well, you better be good at doing yeah, one like, case. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to have to run this pretty quickly. Yeah. <laughs> How good on them, though. Like Amazing. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. To, they to, got stuck get, in it. Like, it's from a low base. 
of oh. not running to running 20 it's a lot like what yeah, they did was actually because the video the video could have genuinely not worked like yeah. we like we if we if got they there, said, nah, we're not if they just went, we're absolutely not doing it so like yeah we, the, the fact that they actually even did it and got it done like has obviously made the video far better when mm. people do get to see it um but they were they actually did so well like we we were fully convinced because our theory was like look they, they'll get it done like that we've got i think the cutoff's like five hours or something isn't it yeah like worst so, case scenario yeah. you could walk it if you really wanted to yes yeah. so we're like they're gonna oh, we had at a, least don't worry one of our producers he, <laughs> he, he, he walked the marathon so yeah oh it, that yeah. doesn't count yeah, yeah. Really, does. <laughs> yeah. we well, can't right. complain <laughs> he, he walked the marathon <laughs> we like, say we've done a marathon we ran maybe 35 k's <laughs> of, of the 42 <laughs> yeah that's only walking seven that's fine ratio is not bad um yeah but they <laughs> they got stuck in and they did it like not i quickly, can't wait to see it when's that out skin <laughs> great question so you've done the four We've done seconds, four seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so so that, bit's, that bit's good to go yeah. 10 minutes yeah. to go uh, yeah another 10 minutes no I don't I would say keep an eye out for it when's this live well in the next couple of weeks oh it's, oh, it's no, ready no, oh, it's live on, it's it is live, live. Yeah, it's live. <laughs> the video's up there. it'll be go on um, it. YouTube as well yeah. I'm sure everyone that's listening has already subscribed because fucking 478 other thousand <laughs> people subscribe to the page which is incredible on TikTok I just want to go through some numbers as well like your numbers boys I'm not just saying this but genuinely should be extremely proud of yourself like what you've been able to do um over a million on tiktok yeah, yeah. like 1.4 1.4 and then instagram's 737 000. pretty cool and for two guys that aren't that funny <laughs> like, like <laughs> it's sort of I mean, that's the lesson like that's that? the yeah. thing that's it's like thing. it's almost like if yeah. you can do it yeah. exactly far yeah. out like yeah. imagine I think why. the lesson is just like survivorship bias <laughs> yeah. like you just 100% you just like that's all that's happened we just kept making content <laughs> yeah. kept making podcasts and eventually like Remember, if you're and, not, and it's like if two yeah. guys that are so not funny <laughs> and like <laughs> Is not that, like yeah, you know really ramming home <laughs> they're not like physically appealing like they're not like but, funny or like uh, yeah, charismatic I, I got or it, any, I got it. Yeah, no yeah, skills exactly. nothing yeah, you like, don't need to be talented or handsome or funny we, you just persist we emceed a uh, Batir like charity ball maybe like two months ago or something and a, and a guy came up to us and was like boys I love what you do like how did you how did you no, you ask like other questions but one of his questions was like how did you do this kind of thing like yeah. what was it what did you do differently that no one else does and we were like we just kept making it yeah <laughs> just like, kept doing just, it we just stuck at it because like the, I'm being genuine though I think so many people start something like not necessarily a podcast but certainly common in podcasting like they'll start them and go well yeah that's pretty hard actually mm. like yeah to, to keep up and you know at the start it's three people listen yeah, to you sure, it's, yeah. it's not overly inspiring um yeah, and we just, we genuinely, that there's no secret. It was just like, we just kept continually and consistently putting things out. <laughs> yeah, but I think as well from, you know, when sort of we've been communicating on a lot of things, just picking each other's brains and like I know through the social stuff, I was always going like, fuck, how have you guys been able to do this? And you're like, mate, you just got to create, keep going, keep mm-hmm. going. But I love the fact of um, your story too, which, you know, we speak about, we spoke about on a, a podcast we did teach me please how to start a business and there's this such a, a hard thing of like when you do get to you know into your 30s or late 20s where you're like sort of getting a career and you're a full-time teacher mm. but doing this on top of that like there has to be that mm. super f- like that period of like working two jobs yeah. getting no reward but then knowing that it's building an asset in the background to then eventually hopefully maybe transition into like that's something that I know I'm proud of what myself for, but like you guys should, especially because you're you at that stage you were a bit older in in, in careers that you were more sort of full time in and stuff like that. So that's what's really impressive what you guys have been able to do. Thanks, Jill. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. No, you hundred percent. Mm. Like I was sitting there teaching, and there were some pretty late nights, and yeah, for sure, yeah, yeah, like, it was definitely a fair bit of a fair bit of slogging away there for a while but I get also we like while we were maybe a little bit older in careers we didn't have kids yet and things like that yeah so for, sure, of, yeah. for sure for sure and that's just, that's like there's so many no no stories the same right but I always just always think like if someone's listening out there that is 18 mm. and they're working you've always got more time yeah. if you're 27 and you're working you've always got more time yeah. Yeah. if you're 30 now and you've got a kid like I do you've always you, you actually, if you want to, yeah. I know it's not, you can always make it work yeah. if you yeah, want to, sure. but you have to be able to commit to it and not something that's actually quite hard um, because things are sort of with the show now and a lot of the stuff you guys do, right? There's this, this really, 
um, I thought about this when I was away, I had a bit of clarity. It's like this instant gratification, which we get now, because realistically, well, not not a lot, but you put out a TikTok, even though the work goes into that, it's quite quickly that you put it out, bang, gets views. Or you put out a YouTube video, bang, gets views. Mm-hmm. Or you put release a podcast and it gets listeners. Whereas, not straight away, but once it happens consistently, you build that base, you get used to it. Yeah. Where... For us now, like we're doing this other stuff at um, at producing Clubby, we're like we're doing a lot of stuff in the background, building out like this sort of clothing line, and it's the first thing for ages. That's like, oh my god, we're doing all this work, mm. but people won't see the fruits of this fruition for like maybe in twelve months because like we've got to get samples, we've got to get, and we've already been doing it for six months. But it sort of taught me again, like fuck, you know, you've got to stick to those things that are working in the background because it's like the whole ten year overnight success or ten year overnight release of something. Um, you, you forget how that how much like hustle you have to do before people see what actually is there. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. But it's different though, right? Because in the social stuff we do now, with the you you do get it straight away, so you get addicted to it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. There is definitely the capacity to like and and be like real harsh with like how you judge. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> like we'll put out a piece of content and then like if yeah because you've had videos go viral before, you like if the next one doesn't. You're like oh, oh what's wrong that's with that? Not, yeah, like, it's, yeah, it's a failure. Yeah. Um, but I, I think something that we've become certainly more aware of is like what's like you said like what's the longer term goal for that piece of content? Is it the fact that this is a style of content that we'd like to get better at making a voiceover or like a day in the life sort of thing or yeah. something that maybe people haven't seen us do as much so yeah, like if we're having a crack at something different I guess that yeah. we haven't done before or is just sure. trying to hit a particular audience is yeah. it more like an Australian piece of content yeah. or like build a build a bit more of a story like like that Prince Albert thing like that was obviously know. something totally different to anything we'd done before but it made like sort of a seven week story arc that we sure. sort of were able to keep building yeah the story arc so, yeah. stuff's awesome and we're yeah. trying to get better at that too which for someone out there who maybe doesn't know what a story arc is I definitely didn't you know six months ago but mm. sort of like a story that goes through episodes versus yeah. like just having an episode well it, it keeps the listener yeah. coming back week after week because you want to update yeah. like yeah. on what's happening yeah. so yeah. Hamish and Andy are like the best of oh, all time at doing it so, yeah. 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 it's yeah. like you know they do that I think the the main one is like they found a box and it was locked and then for like six weeks they didn't open it but they got different experts to see how they could open yeah. it over six yeah. weeks so it's like a story arc of like building it's the same stuff. thing where they lost the passcode to their or the password to their bitcoin uh, yeah so they're trying to find it you just you just, <laughs> you just keep tra- passwords yeah and stuff. yeah um but i think the next story arc will be us vu in the gold coast marathon next year 100 percent. we've sort of started a Run We've club here. Done it. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll no, run, I've seen that. We'll actually. run, seen the run, run clubby, club, yeah. and right. what basically happens is when I start something, it's like yeah. I need to commit to running, so yeah. I just build a business around it. It <laughs> keeps me then accountable <laughs> to okay. run. How have you so been going? Are you running? Well, run clubby starts on Saturday, okay. so <laughs> it, right. you know, like I've been warming up, but <laughs> I was like basically made everyone in the office start running with me to continue my fitness journey I as like well. It. Yeah, okay. So we need something like yeah, that. Yeah, you need to, like things that you need there. to do. It's like gym club. It's like yeah. you know yeah. we're going to do that as well. Yeah. We're doing a little challenge, but I think that's the best part is with the run thing. I'm actually so excited for it. We're doing our first one this weekend at the Tan, but we'll announce there that our you need you need a north star like you need a goal mm. and the goal of that run club whoever wants to come on it is to do the gold coast marathon next year so okay. we're going to start now building up okay to that like so we'll it. definitely do yeah. something for I that mean, training okay. sessions could be harder for us to get to they will but, probably be a little bit yeah seeing as though you're in another state but yeah. we can you know well, you we'll could you out. could do run clubby brisbane we're run by correspondence well why don't you do like run clubby brisbane base brisbane base you yeah. brisbane yeah. guys I'm sure we could do that yeah we could definitely do that okay yeah. Megas yeah, is running about sixty k's at the moment. But yeah. Megas is doing an ultra marathon next weekend. Fucking hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it so annoying? You're like, oh, I ran a marathon. I didn't know. Oh, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> it's like the vegan equivalent, really, isn't it? <laughs> it's like I'm vegetarian. I'm being. Oh, you're always trying to one up me. You're always trying to one up me. Um, I'm really excited for you guys. Just on this, have we? Because like, I, I love the relationship that we have. Not only it's uh, you know very funny. You guys are funny, but I love. <laughs> hearing you know where you're at with business stuff like you just got your new studio in brisbane oh, yeah. um which is really exciting what do you where do you see like we got the chocolates because thinking about this now mm. um of what i've seen it's almost like i'm almost feeling a bit of like dude perfect vibes you know there's not that dude perfect yeah. Yeah. i know it's trick shots it's completely different yeah but that could sort of something to emulate it's sort of like yeah. an australian version does that make sense 
Yeah, that makes some sense. I like mean, podcasts. if we were able to emulate that, it would be not a bad day. They've got like a $50 million building as their headquarters or yeah. something. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty handy. But, yeah. Yeah. but it's so cool. That's your, our North Star. Yeah. But it's so cool, your business, because it's very um, scalable in the sense that like what we do here is quite Australian-based. And not that we want to be worldwide or anything. You've got to own your backyard before you take over the world. But mm. your content and what you do is so... You could blow up in the states which you already have like through this and start touring the us it's like tony and ryan who do a podcast out of here as well like yeah. mm. a lot of their stuff has blown up and they're in the us now and you do a lot of cricket content too which you look at the grade cricketer cricketer and like they go to india and like have a massive yeah, fan sure. base over there so it's so cool to see that you can obviously do australian content but you you're relatable in other areas yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, it is interesting seeing like any time any time we do sort of cricket content, like in India is always sort of like our, our second biggest audience on, on those sort of videos. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. I'm not not really sure exactly what opportunities there no, are for us to explore them. So but, we yeah. have on Instagram just because we don't have many posts that go viral, but we're building this clubby sports page, which you want to be like our central yeah. sort of yeah. page for everything. And um, we had this one post, and I'm not into cricket. Like, respect it, hmm. somewhat. <laughs> no, I do. I do respect it. But Billy Bowden, the umpire, the umpire. Yeah. Oh yeah. So Scott reposted this clip of Billy Bowden, like doing his yeah, um, doing his singles, yeah, all yeah. his things. Yeah. It got insights. Like the most likes we had was like two hundred. This had forty. I think forty four million nine hundred thousand views. What? what? Like twenty two hundred fifty thousand comments. It's absolutely gone berserk. 250,000 likes. Holy... What the yeah. heck? Sorry. <laughs> what is that? Four, f- four million. Sorry. Four million four hundred ninety. <laughs> Similar. Similar sorry, numbers. So close. Yeah. Yeah. Similar. It's not yeah. that far about. Yeah. Four million four hundred ninety-five thousand six hundred thirty-four. Long story short, though, it's still... It was like three weeks ago, and we still refresh it and get like... 300 followers from yeah. India and it yeah. just we're like in an Indian algorithm right now because yeah. obviously cricket over yeah, there is right. just so big yeah. Um, yeah we went up like 3,000 followers from one post yeah okay crazy yeah. <laughs> they love their cricket that's for sure <laughs> how crazy yeah. is that though yeah. it's just yeah, I think you we, we put up a video the other day uh, and someone said like oh I just got so excited I thought <laughs> you guys were in India for the World Cup and we're like oh that would be cool to do at some point good um, yeah I've yeah. been to India once for cricket actually was it cool it was cool. I'd yeah. love to go to India. Got Delhi Belly, which was not as cool, but um, is that similar to the Bali Belly? Yeah, type? same thing. I think. I think they just call it. They just put Belly on the end of whatever <laughs> place you're in. Yeah, we could get Melbourne Brisbane Belly. Belly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Nice. But it was um, cool. Awesome, boys. Hey, what else is next? Is there anything else you're planning? The videos coming out on YouTube. Yeah. Finish off the year. Studio building. Studio building. We're not really building it, but certainly making it look how yeah. we. I think we're really excited about having a dedicated hub. place to work to yeah. be able to sort of work at work and be home at home home at home yeah. <laughs> that's, that's yeah. how it works yeah. 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 yeah so no that'll be that'll take a little bit we've never yeah obviously we've never done anything like that before so even we just wanted to like just freshen up the paint and carpet before we got in there and stuff i thought that would be a pretty easy fix but apparently not so. no it's, yeah. it's we have people back there at the moment trying to measure our carpet which is I mean, we would definitely probably be... Actually, there's more chance of being done right given that we're not there. Yes. Oh, mate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. should be safe. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's tough. It's a tough world out there. It's even project managing. Mates, You've done trades. a fair bit of it. Oh, I've got my Cert 4 and diploma in building construction, mind you. So, oh, right. Yes. Bloody yeah, hell, that. multifaceted. Man. Yeah. yeah. PPE, time to do that, PPE yeah. and it's protective kit if you didn't know what that was <laughs> personal like, equipment, I, think. Personal <laughs> equipment. <laughs> I did that when I was playing kit. did that when I was playing <laughs> footy but it was yeah it was basically I don't remember any of it okay, um, good, yeah. so yeah I'm looking forward to seeing the studio I'm going to come up to Brisbane I'm going to come up we'll do yeah. some more stuff together yeah for sure uh, but yeah I've actually got that segment idea for you as well game that I think you need to bring in oh yeah I've was worked out what the game <laughs> What, what the variation of the game yeah. is but I think it's silly for you not to have a game that's deal or no deal I just feel like is it, it makes deal? sense is it deal or no, no deal or is it just deal well, or no deal it like, could be either couldn't it really it depends what we want the game to do yeah. if it's like because I was picturing maybe like a Where's Wally book 
where it's dill or no dill and like you're where's Wally but in some of them it might actually accidentally be dust be that's in it yeah. I, I reckon I've got an idea here. Oh, okay. have you seen those uh, like sort of AI pictures where they like mesh two celebrities together yeah. yeah I reckon and if it's you've got, a, got a bunch a of faces sloth. and you've got to it's figure out sloth. if <laughs> dill <laughs> is one of the two faces yeah, yeah. that's good yeah. it's like a sloth photo exactly. of me yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah this could be really like the kind. next story arc like you know what I said to you guys trying to play I said to you guys what you got to do is how you still haven't done a um, collaboration with like a Cadbury or a chocolate company I know. and have your own brand of chocolate. Silly. Like, yeah, that's we true. got but the it chocolate. milk chocolate because of the vegan. Oh, because so, of the... Yeah, that always it's dark fun. chocolate and yeah. milk chocolate. Yeah. Yeah. No, we, there are, that definitely... We, yeah. I reckon we could do that. We yeah, can no, that when I say we, bad. like, I'm yeah. not a part of it, but I'm happy, <laughs> I'm happy to, yeah. to help in yeah. any way. Yeah. We yeah. should do that. And the other thing we is, with the, I want audience. you to sell, like, some years. summer cricket stumps and cricket bats. Yeah, okay. I showed you that last time. I want you to just get onto that. That's okay. right. Okay. Or, like, a spin king or something. Yeah, like, a little backyard swing king sort mm. of situation. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Mm. We could definitely bring let's take this in. off. Let's take this off air and we'll continue. But, no, again, boys, always a pleasure, never a chore. And we will continue to... Leo's. do that and have fun um, also to finish up it's been real it's been good just hasn't been real good I actually quite like that I mean <laughs> it's like derogatory yeah. towards yeah. us but it's something that I can see myself using. it's been real it's, it's been, been good. good it just hasn't been real yeah. good yeah. that feels like you called me harmless yeah, yeah. <laughs> basically <laughs> you know, the other thing I was thinking is if Dill nickname is Worm then he probably is armless mm. <laughs> wow Wow. What a way to finish. <laughs> that was... Anyway. <laughs> what oh, a way, way to finish. I would be good on the joke because I don't get them. <laughs> like, I... Did you get that one? No, I got that one. That okay. was actually really good. <laughs> <laughs>